Science goes way beyond a test tube and a microscope. Right now, you are watching us on an invention born of hundreds of other inventions. Now, if you're old enough, you may remember television broadcast in black and white. Well, if you are young, you think that TV program broadcasting in high definition color on your living room flat screen is just one of the many ways to watch your favorite program. Well, at the Franklin Institute, the top 101 inventions are part of an exhibit which will immerse you in how those inventions change the world. The images are sweeping, covering wall to wall, creating a roadmap of humankind's history. And everywhere, you are immersed in inventions that have catapulted man's life experience to world changing. We're seeing a graphic representation of the metric system. Dr. Frederick Bertley is a man enthusiastic about science. Through discovery, it becomes inventive. So really capturing 101 seminal inventions really tells the story of how we've developed as humanity. 101 Inventions is the Franklin Institute's summer traveling exhibit, stretching across the third floor of the new Karabats Pavilion. Visitors step inside the technology of Sensory 4, HD projection, multimedia, state-of-the-art surround sound. Put that together and you get an incredible immersive experience where you're seeing the faces of all the individuals who invented the stuff, the stuff they invented, when they invented, and different ways that they impacted through their invention. Then the exhibit becomes interactive. Legos change the way children play and build. The artifacts of invention like canned goods and the microscope are a fascinating look at where our world took baby steps and then combining inventions took giant leaps. So many wonderful inventions that kind of have an increasing arc of impact, but then they're the ones that you're talking about that do a stepwise change of how we do. Typewriter is one. When you learn to type, the capacity to communicate is so much faster. The computer obviously is another giant step forward. The cell phone is a third giant step forward. I'm a life scientist, so I love to talk about penicillin and vaccines, how they've transformed the lives on this planet by saving so many people. Yes, saved people to discover the reason why I have naturally curly hair. This is a representation of the double helix. As you know, we're all made by DNA that codes inside our cells that makes everything that we are, your hair color, your skin color, your height, etc. So that's what I can wow. blame. Apparently, blame there's a, right, exactly. <laughs> Apparently there's a molecule in my DNA that has marked me for naturally curly hair. Big uh, hair, though, maybe another story. Can I get my cell phone back, please? Yeah, exactly. I know you carry that around in your hip pocket. Uh, let's check our forecast now. We've got some heat moving in.